Hello everybody and welcome to the 24th Machine Learning with Python, scikit-learn slash sklearn4, uh, our practical example of investing uh, tutorial video. Where we left off, uh, we were kind of testing this against a forward poll of Yahoo. We were finding that, my goodness, we got a lot of suggestions here. Uh, the suggestions that we received are kind of in line with the theory that statistically half of the S&P 500 must outperform and half of the S&P 500 you know, companies within them must underperform, right? That's just simple statistics and simple math. So that's okay, but what if we wanted a smaller list and a slightly more secure list if, if, if we can get it, right? We're just curious and we're going to, we we're, it's always good to test. So that's what we're going to do. Now, it might be tempting when you do machine learning to have a lot of categories. Uh, and here's a great example of where you could, in theory, uh, make the script have significantly underperform, underperform, match, outperform, significantly outperform. But when we look at our problem, what's the use? Why do we care about significantly underperform or underperform or match or, or even outperform? We don't care about that. What we're trying to do is whittle down the amount of uh, output. And any time that you increase the amount of categories uh, with your machine learning algorithm, performance is going to go down, accuracy is going to go down. And I don't mean accuracy in the sense of you know, how accurate were we in predicting just you know, between the two categories. I just mean in general accuracy will go down. Uh, just performance and efficiency will, will decrease as well. So anyway, we want to avoid that when we can. And so looking at our problem, yeah, we could separate these into five groups or 10 groups or 50 groups, but nothing matters. But, but are we going to buy or are we going to sell? We could incorporate short selling. Okay, so that's true too. But even in that, we could run, it would be, we could run a totally separate script for, for short sell. So here with this script, our only interest is whether or not we will buy or not. Not buy, zero. Buy, one. That's it. We can separate this into a very simple dichotomy and our accuracy, our performance, and everything will be better doing that. So with that, uh, we're going to, we have to modify our pulling script, uh, or our, not, I'm sorry, not our pulling script. I need to be very clear. Uh, we need to modify the script that builds the training set, okay? And so the last video where we trained data, I believe, was uh, machine learning video 18. So as usual, control A, control C, control A, control V. Uh, and just for the record, as usual, oh, please save the previous tutorial. So if you didn't save it, do like a control Z <laughs> and save. Uh, okay, so moving on. Uh, so this is the one that builds the training set. And initially this was our training and kind of our testing set. But now we have a forward set that we're, you know, we're, we were happy. We trained and we tested and we're very happy with the testing results and we want to use this moving forward. So, um, so now it's just a training set. And uh, what we're mainly interested in is here. No, here. Okay. Um, we're interested in these two lines here. And, and, and what we're going to do now is if difference is greater than zero, instead of using these words, outperform or underperform, since we're changing kind of the logic here, we're just saying either we want to buy it or not, we're going to call this a one and we will call this a zero. Easy enough. So uh, so if, if difference is greater than zero, so basically we were asking like if this company outperforms the S&P 500. Uh, now, what if we want, we want to raise the standards? We're going to say um, if the difference is greater than 5%. So if this stock uh, outperforms the S&P 500 by 5%. Now we're going to call that a winning stock. Okay, so that's our training. We're going to train this on significant outperforming stocks, right? So five is, you know, like 50% better than, not not 50%. In general, it's 50% um, would be six. You know, the market in general does 12%. But uh, like lately, I would say probably six. So anyways, we'll do this, five. Um, so, so that's really it. We, that's all we have to do now just for training and, or, or kind of testing later, we'll come down here. This is called no NA. We're going to call this no NA enhanced. I know we got a lot of these CSVs, but I'd like to have them so we don't have to keep running these scripts over and over and over. Uh, so we'll call that enhanced. This is no NA cool. So we can save that. We'll run that. And then you also want to do, um, the same thing, so we'll, that's no NA. Then we'll have another one after this is done called with NA, and we allow up to 15 
of them. So now, that's really all we have to change because this is our training set. And then the forward moving set, we don't really have to do anything to that set uh, because we, do not, we don't take stock price and stuff like that into account. So um, none of that really, really matters uh, here. So once this is done running, you'll also want to save one that includes not available. Save it as with NA enhanced and you'll be ready to move on to the next video. So I'm not going to make you guys sit through... Uh, that you can do that on your own time maybe go have lunch or something while you do it so anyways uh that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have any questions or comments uh, please feel free to leave them below otherwise as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time